So, hi, welcome to Grub Garden. Today we have April again, who did the tagatelli last yeah. time. So check that out. Uh, this is my recipe this time, not my mum's. <laughs> <laughs> Clear that up. <laughs> so what are you making today? Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to make a bab ganoush. Do you know what bab ganoush is? Yeah. Do you like bab ganoush? I love aubergine with everything. Aubergine, everything aubergine we love. Okay, so Excellent. this is like a Arabic kind of um, dip, which they absolutely love and it's amazing. And we're going to be doing it um, super simple, serving it with some flatbreads. So this is really quick. So more than that here, everyone. I get, I get told that's American or zucchini or courgette. Or, you say that? Yeah. Why? I've grown my dad. I've grown up with uh, sure. zucchini and eggplant. Okay, so you start off. You have your aubergine, and you want to just get a bit of anger out, stab and it a cheeky. little bit. Yeah. <laughs> don't. Don't go too deep, otherwise you might end up in A&E. Uh, and we don't want that. So you start off, and you can either do this, you want basically, we're gonna make the outside all black and charred, and it's gonna basically smoke the inside. It's like a smoked aubergine dip. So you can either put it on top of your gas, and just leave it and just keep turning it, or easier way to do it is you can chuck it straight in the oven, and here's one that I made earlier. <laughs> so, could so you do it on the easy. barbecue? Easy, but it would be it would be amazing on a barbecue. But I won't wrap or in a wood fired oven. <laughs> in a wood fired <laughs> oven would be amazing. But don't cover it up. Literally, you want to leave it. So if you're doing it on a gas, you want that intense heat because it's going to make it all smoky. If you cover it with the foil, you're not going to get that same effect. How long did you put it in the oven for? This was in the oven about 180 degrees for about 40, 45 minutes. But you can bang it up higher if you want. Whatever you want to do, you just want to get it. Can you see how soft and squidgy it is? It's cooled exactly down, you, and it? it's cooled down. So we're just gonna. Scrape it all out. You don't want any of that outer outer skin because it when it becomes all burnt like this, it gives an amazing flavour to the inside, but it actually tastes quite bitter, so you don't want any of that inside your dip. Okay, so what I would normally do is just leave this to hang for like half an hour or so, but we're gonna make a quick baba, but if you can already see, there's already a lot of um, liquid coming out of there. So, we are going to chop this as fine as we can. You can do it in a blender if you're not feeling too energetic, but this is a more authentic way to do it, and you just wanna chop it till it's as fine as you can go. Just be careful if you're pinking. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So when you get to this point where it's nice and fine, but it's still gonna have a bit of texture on your palate when you're dipping it into your lovely flatbreads and your arm is starting to feel numb, you're losing the sensation in your fingers because you've been chopping so much, that's when you know it's ready. Okay, so when it's like this, we're just gonna put it back into our sieve just to drain out any excess moisture because we don't want it to be too wet and make our dip all watery which is not what we want. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> is that American? Ew. Oh my god. Ew. Grass. Ew. Ew. Grass. Ew. <laughs> this is what we're doing, my name is Star. Ew. Ew. Okay. Nicely prepped down so we've just got a little bit of mint. You can get this from your supermarket, or if you're feeling adventurous, grab some seeds and start growing it in your garden. Because this is grub garden after all, huh? Yeah, Should be. Now, get all of that excess moisture. We have lovely chopped, finely chopped aubergine pulp here, all smoky and delicious. And then we've got tahini. This is just um, blended sesame paste, isn't it? It's delicious. Cream of sesame, I think that's what it uh, translates. Cream of sesame. But this really makes your dish, you um, you need this. Otherwise your dish is like a teaspoon? Like a teaspoon's oh. worth. How many would this serve, uh, one or two? Well, if this was me in my house, this would just serve me. <laughs> I'm yeah, a chef, so I like to eat, so. 
About one spoon? Yeah. Antonia's trick, take the cheek off. Cheeky cheeky! Cheeky! <laughs> Easy son. <laughs> you little cheeky minx. Alright, so, so, once you've done that, straight into your bowl. Serve it with oh, some flatbreads, no. and there you go. That's Grub Gardens <laughs> Baba Ganoush in the garden. Courtesy of April. <laughs> yeah, my recipe this time, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, that's it. Enjoy. Yeah, you don't want to say thanks for watching. Thanks See for watching. Come back next Thursday for another fantastic dish in the garden by Antonia. You say subscribe. Subscribe. Super subscribe. Something about look down here and there'll be like a magic <laughs> little box. Go down here. That's the one. Subscribe.